I'm talking to Jeff Grimm from Grimm's Fuel Company. And Jeff, this is another attribute of your company. You actually will blow on grass seed on la uh, lawns or almost lawns. We do. Uh -huh. We uh, use our same blower trucks that we apply the compost and the bark dust to people's yards. And we have a seed injection system that, where we can actually inject the seed right into the, the soils that we put down on the lawns. So for a homeowner, what exactly do they have to do before you guys come in? Well, the soil prep is the key to uh, a nice lawn. You've got to get some compost and some organic material into these high clay soils that we have in our area. So the first thing you want to do after they've killed the weeds with the Roundup or a similar product is to uh, put down a layer of uh, good soil amendments, say two inches, and then rototill that in with a couple inches of their existing soil to get those organic materials back in there. Oh, that's a great idea, and what a nice base for a nice healthy lawn. Yeah, the, the, I can't stress that enough <laughs> that the, uh, it's critical to get those organics back into the soil, and the soil prep is the most important part of a, a good soil. Or and a good do, lawn. You, do you give like a list of all these things for the homeowner so that they have some help and um, recommendations and things like sure, that? Sure, yeah, we have some pamphlets stuff that if people want to call us or we can give them advice over the phone or pamphlets that we can hand out and it'll kind of help them uh, walk through the process. Oh, okay. And then you guys come out, does it take a long time or is it a pretty quick process? Oh, it's a pretty quick process. Uh, we come out and after the soil's all prepped, uh, hopefully the homeowners then roll the lawn and take out some of that sponginess. We'll come in and put down one layer of good soil, our blended soil for example is what we did in this case. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, after that one inch is applied, we'll go in with our roller again and roll it and uh, pack it down and take it out that sponginess again. And then put down another inch of uh, soil with the seed injected on the second application. And so that whole process is fairly quick. We put down an hour or um, a unit of compost here, that's seven and a half yards, and it wow. probably took them an hour and a half or so to do that. Uh, then the, the long part is the part where you have to wait for the uh, germination. It's going to take seven <laughs> to ten days, and that's the anxious part. You're sure. out there looking every day for those first signs of green. Right. So when would be a good time to get this done? Well, it all depends on soil temperatures. Mm. You want it to, don't want to do it too early in the springtime, kind of Aprilish when the soil temperatures have come up a little bit so to help the germination. And then in the fall, you don't want to do it too late in the fall because you won't get, again, the germination problems. Uh, you want to do it a couple weeks before the frost so that the seeds can get established and the grass can get established. And so once it starts germinating, it's just kind of like any other seed, you kind of wait for it to get so long and then you can start mowing it and taking care of yeah, it. Yeah, probably a couple weeks after it's germinated before you start mowing it. And then you want, don't want to mow too much off at one time. You want to just take, take like the top third off that first mowing. And then weeds, you're always, no matter what you do, you're <laughs> going to have some weeds out there. Definitely. And then uh, there's, you've got to talk to your professionals at your garden centers or turf centers and they can tell you how to take care of those broadleaf leaves that are inevitable. Oh, definitely. And I know if you get them early enough when they're small enough, it really helps the problem because it's not spread out. You can really take care of it right then. Exactly. There's uh, several products out there that can take those things after you've mowed a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, Go ahead and take care of those things. Yeah, you know, this is just going to be a beautiful lawn. I think that the homeowners really prep the soil, and I think that's one of the most thing, thing that we can give to people is to prep your soil before you put any kind of seed down, if you do the hydro seeding or just your overseeding. That's correct, yeah. Well, thanks, and thanks so much. And I know that we can call the company and call Grimm's Fuel Company and ask more questions and get ready if we wanted to have this done at our house. Th that or check us out on our website. Oh, okay, well, thanks okay. so much. Thanks for coming out.